Am I the only one? Am I the only one that bothers? Because I've never heard anybody else complain about it. They call me Cruise Man. I've put more than 150,000 miles on Honda Goldwings, riding all over this amazing country. Thousands of Goldwing owners have used my videos to guide them when working on their own bikes or considering which aftermarket products to purchase. I love riding and wrenching. These are my motovlogs. Hello YouTube, it's Cruise Man here on the 2018 Goldwing. On my way back home from Arlington, Texas. You may have seen my other moto vlog, my previous moto vlog, where I was on the way to Arlington, Texas to get, uh, had a dental appointment over there. And now I am on my way back home. Now, I wanted to let you know that it's a little later in the day, obviously. And it's now 69 degrees, just a beautiful day for riding, almost no wind. Sun is out, not a cloud in the sky, well, maybe a little cloud in the sky, but not much. Just absolutely perfect. These are the days that if you're a rider, you really look forward to. And you know it's coming soon, spring is here. I'd say within the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to start seeing warmer weather and uh, all across the country you guys are going to be able to get those bikes out and do some riding. Now some of you posted uh, some comments a while back about where you plan to go this summer. Uh, you have some road trips planned and if you haven't told us uh, where you're going, let us know. Are you going in a group? Are you going by yourself? Are you pulling a trailer? I find it fascinating to know where uh, the people that watch our uh, YouTube channel go to. I think I've also mentioned to you recently that we uh, now have 14,000 or more than 14,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. That's exciting. But not as many on my Facebook uh, page. And so, if you get a chance, go over to facebook.com slash cruisemansgarage and uh, like us or follow us or whatever you do over there. We appreciate it. And if you like these motor vlogs, you like my videos, my how-to videos, my installation videos, take a second, click that little subscribe button down below. And if you click the little bell icon, YouTube will notify you when we come out with new videos. Now, it's time for another episode of Am I the Only One? Am I the only one that when I go to buy something at a store, it bothers me when the clerk asks me for my phone number? I don't understand why they feel like they need my phone number just so I can buy something. I, I've gotten into the habit of doing a couple of things. Either I won't give it to them, or I'll give them a fake number. And I actually kind of got into a little discussion about this the other day with a girl at Ace Hardware. I'm literally, I'm literally spending less than a dollar. I had to go buy a couple of washers. It was like 89 cents. And before she'll even ring it up, she asks me for my phone number. And I said, why do you need my phone number? She said, well, that's just how we track things. And I said, well, I don't want to give you my phone number. I don't want to get, I don't want my phone number in a lot of different computer systems. And she said, well, our system is secure. I said, yeah, so was Target's before they got hacked. And the last thing I need is more junk phone calls. I'm already getting five to six marketing calls a day on my home phone. And I get about two a day on my cell phone. In fact, I get more junk calls than I get 
regular calls. And it's gotten to the point now, I'm really seriously wondering if I even need to have a landline anymore. I've always had it for my business. But I just don't know if it's really worth it anymore because I get so many junk calls. And boy, it, during the political season, all the robocalls. So I'm kind of fed up with it. So I've got a new policy. I'm not giving my phone number out to anybody anymore when I go to buy something. You know, just take my damn money. That's one thing I will have to say about Walmart. You go to Walmart, they don't care about your phone number, they just want your money. But Target, Ace Hardware, and, 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 and you know, the clerks sometimes are almost aggressive about it. Home Depot, same way. I was buying something at Home Depot the other day. They asked my phone number, and I said, why do you need my phone number? She said, well, if you want to return it, it's the only way we can find your receipt. And I, I said, I'm spending $1.69. I can afford to throw it away. I don't, I don't want to give you my phone number. I just want to pay for it. And, you know, I, 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 am I the only one? Am I the only one this bothers? Because I've never heard anybody else complain about it. So maybe I am. Maybe I'm the only one this bothers. If this bothers you, or if you've noticed this trend lately, please put something in the comments down below and tell me how you handle it or how you deal with it. I mean, what's next? Are they going to ask for my social security number too? I just don't know why they feel. And how the hell did Home Depot track receipts they give me a receipt. If I need a refund, just make me show my receipt. That's the way they used to always do it. So I, I don't know. Maybe I just maybe I just bothers me these types of things. But anyway, so okay, enough of that. So I'm just enjoying this incredibly nice day. Just the perfect day to be outside in the sun. It's now 70 degrees on my temperature gauge. Uh, my gas light is flashing at me. I'm low on fuel. I've got to stop and get some gas for too long. Fortunately, I still have, it says I have 40 miles left, 39 miles range. So I think I can make it home before I have to stop and get gas. Uh, quick reminder, as always, my shameless plug, just a quick reminder. We still have the spring promotion on the Goldwing maintenance videos. 20% savings right now, and it's a limited time, so it's going away quick. So if you're going to get them, now's a good time to get them. We've got a couple of new videos we're posting to the series uh, this week. And we've already added 10 new videos since the uh, series was released. So it's a growing library. And when you subscribe or purchase the videos on demand, uh, you get the updates automatically. There's no extra charge for the new videos when they're added to the libraries. We've got a lot of new stuff coming out pretty soon. Keep an eye on the YouTube channel. And that's all for now from Cruise Man's Motovlog.